lift, if you lift your rear your quad off the ground and you have all this play, um, ooh, these bearings are destroyed. All right, everybody, today we are back working on the 400 EX, and today we are going to be doing the carrier. When I did the rear brake pads, uh, I realized then that my bearings were just slap worn out. And I was going to just order the bearings themselves, but the whole carrier was like $40 off Amazon. So I was like, why not? Uh, what you see here are the tools to remove the carrier. So you have the big wrench, which slips over the axle and grips onto the inner nut. And then you have the open end, which goes on to the outer nut. And I will have the link in the description because I got all of this off of Amazon. I think this was like $45. And then these were like $44, something like that. Uh, and you will also need a grease gun. We probably don't need it, but uh, I don't know how much grease comes in here. Probably none. So you probably need to grease that up. And then you can use uh, this grease to grease up the outside of the cam as well. So I've taken off the wheels, as you can see. Uh, I don't have the stock style splined axles. I have the Dura Blue pin axle. So instead of mine having splines on the end, it has a bolt that goes through the hub and that goes through uh, the axle. And I have two positions, a narrow and a wide. Uh, so I didn't bother showing all that. And I also took the brake caliper off and I need to loosen up the chain uh, using alley head bolts so that we can cam this in to loosen the chain up so we can slide it out. So where we are now is to getting the lock nut out. I've seen a lot of these setups where they have the lock nut up against the, uh, the disc spindle. That's not what you want. It's supposed to be up against this, uh, the bolt here. And these are reverse threads. So it's righty, loosey, lefty, tighty. So to loosen this up, you want to bring it back towards the back of the quad. So you want to do counterclockwise to loosen it. So turn it counterclockwise, turn it back towards you. Counterclockwise will move the nut towards the inside. So let's get that loosened up first. Uh, and we're gonna use the close-in tool. And this is, on my particular, is half inch, uh, not three eighths. So you need a half inch uh, ratchet to loosen this bad boy up. So let's get to it. Remember, lefty tighty, righty loosey. So whatever you normally do, do the opposite. And okay, that came, well, oh, just turned it the wrong way. So yeah, this came loose a whole lot easier than what I thought. Jesus. I might get a hammer. Mm. Jesus Christ. We should have it far enough in now where we should be able to get that clip out. All right, 
and then slide the lock nut off. Ooh. So I guess just the dirt and crap is just all in there. I might try to get this off. I might not. This brake should just slide off. The GoPro died. I don't understand how GoPro is supposed to be the industry standard and they can't solve these overheating issues. Um, so on the disc brake, before you take it off, there is a little O-ring in there. So I couldn't see it. So remember to take the O-ring off before the disc brake comes off. Uh, while I was trying to find my charger, I went ahead and loosened up um, the bolts here so that I can uh, loosen up the cam uh, so that we can get the chain off. You could just take the master link off if you wanted to. So from here, we should be able to just slide the axle out, maybe. Oh, yep, just like that. I should have put the chain on the other side. And this axle has been out at some point. This axle has been out because it has pretty fresh grease on the inside i need to get my lock ring pliers and get this clip off this comes off and then from there i believe the carrier is free to exit see if these little cheap harbor freight joints will work oh yeah all right i'll take it Ooh, these bearings are destroyed in here. Holy crap. They are absolutely destroyed. What is holding this? This should... Should just slide out old crusty new and fancy so let me go and let me clean all of this out so that the new housing slides in there nice and smooth and good inside the swing arm it's all cleaned up I'm going to go ahead and grease up the uh the carrier with the fitting so just gonna take some of the grease and i'm gonna guess that is enough And I'm going to take some of this grease here and just spread it on the outside of the carrier. See if this uh, slide in. That's good. It moves free like it should free free like a bird so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to do the opposite of what we did um i'm going to add some grease right here and i'm gonna throw that around there and then we are going to slot the axle back in Ooh. 
So let's start with the brake stay. And this should just pop right on with no fuss, hopefully. Get some better snap rings. All right, Harbor Freight. Then we're gonna put some grease from the splines here. lock the lock book on to the splines then we're going to take the interlock bolt and we're going to thread this on and remember reverse threads and you can put the interlock on beforehand if you want to I just want to show y'all how good I cleaned this up and just how smooth that it goes on now. And then we are going to take the outer lock nut. This one is smoother, but it's not as smooth as what it should be. And you want to get this in far enough until you can see that slot. And then we can put our stopper ring in. And you just slide the stopper ring on. All right, there we go. So that way, it doesn't come flying off. All right, and with the stopper ring covered up fully, we wanna take the inner locking nut and then lock it up with the outer locking nut. and we are done and now we need to tighten up our chain put the disc brake back on put your hubs on put your wheels on and that is it and here goes everything all back together everything is nice and tight looking good chain tightened up axle locking nuts tightened up we got the wheel hub tightened up took it for a ride this thing feels good and smooth and it feels stable like it should so like i said if you pick up the back of your four-wheeler or you're doing the brakes or you see that axle has uh some wobble in it it's gonna be the axle bearings like so you can buy the bearings knock out the old bearings put in new bearings i think the bearings are like 15 20 dollars or you can spend 40 just get the whole carry and be done with it and that's what i chose a little bit more money a little bit less work like everything that you do think build and most importantly enjoy peace